welcome to my channel. If you enjoy this video and the other content here, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to be a part of our community, we have a Discord server, which will be linked below in the description. But without further ado, sit back, take a deep breath, and relax. And I hope you enjoy the video. Finally awake. Good. How are you feeling? Dizzy. That's normal. Don't worry about it. I've already dimmed the lights for you. Your eyes will take some time to adjust to the new level of photosensitivity. Oh, uh, please. Don't try to move too much. Just lay back and relax. I promise to explain everything. Now, everything I'm about to say to you is going to sound unbelievable. A wild fantasy, even. But... You were attacked and fed on by a vampire. Now, there are certain rules in the vampire society. The rules on biting humans are as follows. The human must be alone and isolated. If you feed... You must drain or turn. If you drain, ensure the food has perished and take the empty vessel back to your vampire house to be disposed of discreetly. If you turn the human, you must take them back to your vampire house to allow them to turn safely. It appears you have been bitten, but were left where you were attacked. Why, I do not know, but I shall speak of that later. Hmm, some discomfort in the gums, I see. Allow me to check for you. Open up. Hmm. Your fangs are beginning to come through. Good. That means I managed to get to you pretty early. Hmm. Your fangs will fully emerge by the morning. Some discomfort is normal, so don't be too concerned. But I must extend my apologies to you on behalf of House Zaros, for it appears the vampire responsible for this act was in fact of House Zaros. My name is Ezekiel Zaros. I am an inquisitor of the Order of Virtuous Blood. We are responsible for maintaining the rules of vampire society and enforcing the dictates of the Sanguine Council. <laughs> you will become far more familiar with the structure of our society as time passes. You are one of us now, after all. Now, before we continue, 
You must drink. One of the reasons it is law to bring someone that you have turned back to your house is that new bloods have a ravenous hunger upon being turned. If left alone, many make the mistake of feeding on a human too early. Furthermore, those new bloods don't know the rules around feeding, and this leads to a chain reaction, which is difficult to stop. But, alas, this blood is diluted with a normal drink. Here, I can see your hunger is beginning to emerge. It is best you satiate it now. Hmm. You see, if you were to feed on pure blood right now, you would become violently ill, which is obviously something you wish to avoid. My word, you drank that with great haste. That's a sign you will grow strong. Even better that I found you then. It is best I tell you exactly what being a vampire is like. Firstly, yes, you will burn in the sunlight. However, you will become less sensitive with age, but the sun will always be deadly. Yes, you do have a reflection. Frankly, I don't know where that myth comes from. It breaks the laws of physics. Yes, you can cross running water. Again, no idea where they got that one from. No, you don't need to be invited in, although we do still appreciate manners at House Zaros. Garlic is fine. In fact, I would highly suggest you eat plenty of it. It's good for the heart. Speaking of, yes, a stake through the heart will kill you. So will a bullet or a dagger. You get the point. Don't let something hit your heart. You're immortal, not invulnerable. Finally, your fangs are retractable, to the point where they won't be so protruding. However, they will still be far more pointed than a human's. It's not a skill you'll have yet. It's something that is learned. Retracting and extending one's fangs is like flexing a muscle. You just need to practice it until you can do it. Speaking of, allow me to check your fangs once more. Hmm. Interesting. They've developed incredibly quickly. Another good sign. Try retracting them. Hmm. A small twitch. Keep trying. Fascinating. Your body is adapting unusually fast to this. You will most certainly grow to be a powerful vampire. You see, not all vampires are born equal, but all have the 
same potential. Think of it like how certain people are talented at certain things, but someone who works hard enough can be just as good. You have a head start amongst your peers, but you must still practice and study if you wish to keep growing stronger, lest your peers overtake you. Mm. Now, finally, I must ask you some questions. I hope you can give me some answers as to who did this to you. Even the slightest details will assist me in my search for the vampire responsible for this. Firstly, tell me your name, New Blood. Right. Now, describe the vampire responsible as best you can. I understand your memories will be hazy. This is common for those freshly turned. I will make this easier by asking simple questions. Please do take your time. At one moment, though, I must note this information down. Okay. Did they say anything to you? And what did they say? Try to describe their voice as best as you can. And uh, what kind of clothes were they wearing? Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you manage to get a look at their face. That's good. What kind of things can you remember about it? Do you remember their eye color? No. No, it's okay. You've given me plenty of information already. Don't worry. What about their hair color? Great. What was it? Mm -hmm. Did they have any other notable facial features? A scar? Where? A small one. The cheek. Very interesting. Vampires normally heal completely from most wounds. Scarring only ever occurs from blades of a certain type. Those blades are made of metals infused with the blood of the Van Helsings. Yes, the Van Helsings are real. 
Yes, they are vampire hunters. Vampires and the Van Helsings have had an uneasy truce in place for almost three hundred years. So, unless a Van Helsing weapon has found itself out of their hands, which is highly unlikely, they covered those things. Then this vampire must have been alive before the truce came into place. This information is incredibly useful. Thank you, New Blood. I suggest you rest now. I need to make some calls. Our investigation will begin tomorrow night. I will be taking you with me. You will help in identifying your attacker. Now, I will leave you be. Oh, and welcome to the house of Zaros. Hey there, thank you for watching this video, but just before it ends, I'd like to take this chance to thank all my disciples of Jesus Christ, <laughs> patrons. If you'd also like to support me, you can check the links below. But until the next time, take care of yourself, have a good day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.